you're giving a presentation from your iPad, if you're giving it on another display, you actually have some very powerful presenter controls you may not have known about or used much before. One of the things I wanna show you from the very beginning is how to customize your toolbar. Very similar to Keynote on a Mac, at the top of your screen, you have these icons that are your toolbar. What you may not have known is if you come over here to the right-hand side, click on the circle with the three dots, you can go down and choose Customize Toolbar. And then Apple gives you all of these icons that you can put at the top of your screen. I wanna show you the two that I add to make my workflow the easiest when I'm building and working on a presentation. The first is this Animate Toolbar icon here. And then the second one is the Rehearse. It almost looks like a YouTube play button with the rounded rectangle and the triangle. We'll drag that in there and click Done. To work on that or rehearse your presentation, you can go over here and click here and then go click Rehearse Slideshow or you can save yourself a step and just click on it. Now, don't confuse it with this one over here on the left. This is the player presentation. If you don't have your iPad connected to another display, it will just play full screen on your iPad. If you have it connected to another display, it will take you to your presenter display. But anytime you want, you can click on this one and now it brings you to the presenter display. In here, you can set up how you want everything to look. So if we go over here and choose current slide and then click off of this. What your audience sees is this full screen presentation. What you are seeing is just a copy of that, but you still at the top of the screen have a clock. This clock, if you were to go up and tap on it, you can change it to a timer. It starts at zero. And as soon as you begin your presentation, it begins counting up. So you can see how long that you are presenting. Let's walk through how to set up different formats on the screen and then how to use Use this when you're presenting. Everything kind of comes from this top right corner over here. You click on this icon and you can choose what's on your screen. If we choose next, what the audience sees is the current slide which for our presentation would be this one. What you are seeing is what's coming up next. This allows you to have a monitor to see what the next slide is gonna to be to help you transition from where you are to where you're going. You also can put both of them on your screen. You can see the current slide and the next slide. You can also see your current slide and your notes. So when you're speaking, you could have the notes up on your iPad and as you go through your presentation, the notes match up with the slide that you're on to help you remember what you wanted to say on that slide slide. Now you also can go up here and change this to next and notes so that what you're seeing are your current notes for this slide and then the next slide that's coming up. So the notes help you to stay on track with what you're saying. The slide helps you see what's coming next so you can get to that and transition well. You might be in a situation where you just want to have the notes either because of the size of the notes or the size of your text on your notes and you could have it be notes only. It does tell you at the top what slide number you're on. On, and you can go in here and click to make your text larger or smaller depending on the size of your iPad and how good your eyes are. In any of these slides that have notes, you can choose to invert the colors. Instead of a gray with white text, you can have white with black, especially if you're doing a daytime or a bright room presentation. I'm going to set this to current and next, which is my default for most of the time how I use it. Another thing you can do on here is be able to jump at any point to any part of your presentation. If you come up here in the top left part of your screen, Screen, you'll see a number and a green dot. The green dot means that all animations are done and what you see on the current slide is what your audience sees. This shows you five of 11, so what slide you're on. If you tap on this, all of a sudden now, you can scroll up and down to see the different slides in your presentation and you can jump to any slide you want by tapping on it. That becomes the current slide. When you tap off, you're back into it and ready to go and that's what your audience sees. This is great for Q&A or when simply you realize you you have skipped something and need to move ahead or forgot something and need to go back anytime you just go in here click where you want to go and you're back where you need to be in your presentation in a non-linear style format one of the big advantages of keynote on ipad that you don't have with keynote on mac is the ability to use your apple pencil or your finger to do drawings a laser pointer to annotate your screen as you're talking so let's say that we're in this presentation and we'll go in here and we'll skip down and talk about this slide here. Let's say I wanted to actually draw some stuff on this slide. All you simply do, go over here to the top right, click on this icon, and now at the bottom of your screen you have these different options. If you click on this left laser pointer, then wherever you to go on screen, you can point to something as if it was a laser pointer, but have very precise control exactly where you want to show it. If you wanted to draw on screen, you pick whatever color you want on here, and then with your finger or your Apple Pencil, you simply draw on the screen, and 
and your audience sees it. You need to think of this as only temporary. When you draw this on your screen, you can do whatever you want. You can change colors while you're working. You can draw different things on your screen. But when you go to the next slide, all of that disappears. And if you were to go back, it's still there while you're presenting. If you click done and go back into that slide, as long as you don't exit your presentation, what you've drawn will stay there. Here's a little pro tip. If what you have drawn you want to keep, you want to use for more than just your presentation, this doesn't get saved. And so you can take a screenshot by going to your iPad. On the top left, you have your power button and your volume right button. If you press both of those at the same time, your iPad will take a screenshot and then you can go up here to done, save to photos. And now I have a copy of that I can use later. You'll notice on your screen, you have arrows on the left and the right. You can stay in this mode in annotating and navigate from one slide to the next. Again, on here, I could go down and tap on this black color, come up here and draw something. Maybe that's not super visible. So then I choose yellow. This person right here asked a question. And again, if you go through and come back, those annotations are still there. This is a great way to use your iPad that is not possible on a Mac when you're presenting live. Now, if we go in the top right, click X, it will get out of this. And we're back into Keynote again. There are a few things I also wanted to show you. If you come up here to the top left and click on this icon, it shows the views you can use when you're editing your presentation. It also has the show presenter notes. Click on this. You have these notes you can go into and you can edit. You can type in here, highlight, copy, paste. You can format. These are what show up in the presenter notes part of your presentation. Any slide I click on here, I can see the notes that are specific for that slide and edit those while I'm building my presentation. Now we add added this icon to the toolbar in the top center as a shortcut. And one of the things you may not have noticed is that we set this up so you could customize your presenter display. You get everything set the way you want it. However, what people don't realize, maybe for school or for your job, you have an iPad, but you don't have a Mac. And you have this iPad and maybe you're traveling, maybe you're at home, you want to practice your presentation, but you don't necessarily want to hook it up to the TV in the living room or in your hotel room. You just want to practice it. Maybe you're on the plane, on a train, wherever you are, you want to work on your presentation and rehearse it. If you go up here and click on that button, and again, if you forget where that's at or don't have that set up, you come over here to the top right, you can click on this and go down to rehearse slideshow, same thing. You can go through and practice your presentation without it being hooked up to another display, and it shows you what you will be seeing instead of what the audience is seeing. So you can simply go through here, swipe through your slides, and practice your presentation presentation, you can decide, you know what, maybe I want my notes to show after all. So let me go to that current and notes slide. You can practice your presentation. You can watch your time. If you go in here and you close out and go back in, it will reset that countdown timer. It'd be great if there was a way for you to do that from here. That's a feature request we can send to Apple. But now, as soon as you begin practicing, the countdown will start. So you can see as you go through here how long your presentation is compared to how long you've been asked to speak or how long you expect to speak. So there you go, just some helpful tips on how to customize your presenter display and how you can use that customization setup on your iPad to practice your presentation even without connecting to a second display. Hope that's been helpful, especially if your main time you're using Keynote is on an iPad. If you have more questions or would like to see more iPad Keynote videos, leave me a comment below and I use those to figure out what I'm going to create next. Thanks so much. Hope this helps you for school or for work. And I hope that this has helped you to enjoy and be more effective at using Keynote on your iPad.